This is a special edition of Late Night Health. I'm Mark Allen. We're going to spend some time with Art Lewin. Uh, Art is an entrepreneur's entrepreneur. Uh, He has several different businesses that we're going to talk about today here on Late Night Health. First of all, Art has uh, uh, Art Lewin bespoke bespoke clothiers. That's for men and women, and it's their custom clothing. Is that correct? That's right, 100%. A hundred percent. I'm. Yes. I got it right once. Yes. Uh, and and today, we still need to dress up. I was just telling Art there was a study that came out within the last couple of weeks. If you're working at home, and you kind of roll out of bed and go over to your computer, you're not as productive if you get dressed first. I've been working out of the house for years because working out of my studio or. Uh, uh, connecting with some kind of technology. And I always get dressed before I come to the office. You, do you agree with that, Art? A hundred percent, I do. Uh, I do the same thing. So when I'm working out of my home, I do. I get dressed. I take my shower, you know, brush my teeth, do whatever I have to do and put on, I don't, I don't put on a tie, but I'll put on a uh, nice pants and, and a custom made shirt and a sport coat. So I'm, and it's, it's interesting because today, because we are working from home and we're using Zoom or any of the other services that, that allow people to connect like we are right now and safe distance, one of the things I wonder about, do we need to dress up with a shirt and tie anymore? It. I mean, in my in my my little world, my niche in the custom clothing business, everybody who I see loves dressing up. So I have to say yes, and for my world. But and I, that's pretty much all I pay attention to. I don't care about really the outside world, what they're wearing. I just need to go cater after my 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 little niche that I've created over my 32 year tenure in doing what I do. Um, so I, I say yes. Even even dressing with nice pants and a nice shirt, um, you feel better than just you know going around with shorts and a tank top or a t-shirt. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And uh, though I can't get into shoes anymore um, <laughs> because I'm at the house, I don't put on my shoes. I keep those outside, right? Yeah, yeah. Would you say that there's a psychological benefit? And we are, after all, late night health, and we're talking about clothing. Sure. Can dressing up make you feel good, make you feel better, make you feel successful so that you can be more productive? Mark, that's pretty much what I sell. It's um, when you dress up, you just feel better. You have more confidence. You're, you're, you're more, more alert. And I think it, it shows for people, because when I'm doing business out of the home, I speak on the phone a lot. So if I feel good about myself, I think they could feel that on the other side of the line. Wouldn't you agree to that? It's, It's interesting to me that a lot of people don't understand quality clothing. Right. Um, uh, My father was a clothes horse. And I, I love those clients. I know. Yeah. You know, I wish he was still with you. He used to take me downtown and uh, he would, you know, he'd be able to buy a suit in the wholesale district downtown and it would be a perfect custom suit. And then once I got married, I thought, I don't need to go with that anymore. I bought the most atrocious bright blue turquoise suit. He laughed. He was hysterical when he saw me in this thing. And it was it was a polyester knit, double knit. It was awful. Whatever led me to... Anyway, tell me about your clothing itself and why it will make somebody who wears it, men or women, better. So what, what we do, uh, my niche is being a custom clothier. So what that means is when I see a client, when they come into my showroom here, um we 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 talk a little bit i would get to know what they do if they fly a lot if they drive a lot i need to know these things before i know what kind of cloth to put them in so if i need to for example i just picked up a client the other day he tells me he flies 99 percent of the time he's in the air somewhere 
So I know exactly what cloth to go to because it's more wrinkle resilient. Even though it's wool, it's he'll he'll look the same way he put it on when he leaves the, the airplane. That's what I need to know. Um, and then we make that suit for for the individual client. So each suit is made for each individual client. Uh, years ago, I I uh, was working for a company and had to fly quite a bit. And when I fly, I'm very casual. Right. Okay. I just I don't yeah. want to. But so I got I was very casual, and the uh, my boss, the CEO, yeah. um, looked at me like this, <laughs> and he said, "You sit in the back of the plane." Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting because when I have flown in the front of the plane, I tend yeah. to dress up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's that's all psychology. I mean, it, it all goes into this thing, because if you go back 30, 40 years ago, everybody flew dressed up. Today, I like to fly casual. And uh, prior to COVID, you know, my wife and I were taking off to somewhere in the world once a month. And when you're traveling 10, 15, 20 hours, you want to be as comfortable as possible. But however, when I fly locally, let's say, for example, if I have to go to my Scottsdale location, I fly and I'm dressed up to the nines. So as soon as I get off the car, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the plane, I have an Uber waiting or a driver waiting, takes me to my, to my showroom in Scottsdale. So I'm ready to go. How did you get into the clothing business to begin with? Great question. I, I get that asked all the time. So 32 years ago, <laughs> 1989, April 1989, um, I'm sorry, March of 1989, I was selling my last job I had, which was one of 26 jobs that I had prior to get into this business, the, the clothing business. Um, I was selling alphanumeric pagers. Do you remember those? Oh, sure. Yeah. So this one came along with a uh, live operator. So they'll answer the, the entrepreneur's name. It makes it sound like they're bigger than what they were. So I went after attorneys, plumbers, contractors. So it made it sound like they had a secretary and they got a, they got a, a nu, alphanumeric message, almost like texting today on their pager. And so I knocked, I was knocking on this custom tailor's door in Wilden Hills. 1989, March 1989. A month later, uh, he recruited me and I was working for him. And that's the end of the story. So 32 years, fast fast forward 32 years, here I am doing my own business for the last 27 years. I've been on my own. Terrific. And you learned, you learned the tailoring business yes. from the from guy in Woodland Hills. Yep, from this gentleman. Yep, and that was a long time ago. Well, I, I grew up in Canoga Park, right next right, to it. Sure. I don't and, even know if Canoga Park exists anymore. Is it called West Hills? Yeah, well, parts of it are West Hills, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. They actually have a museum there. I couldn't believe it. I, yeah. uh, about Canoga Park, Owens really? Mouth. Really? Yeah, pretty interesting oh, wow. stuff. Let's, uh, let's talk now about health. Okay. We've been talking about mental health. Let's sure. talk about uh, Healthy Choice uh, Lab. Dot right. labs.com that's healthy yep. choice labs labs. Dot com. Uh, right and i'm curious about uh, why and how you got into that <laughs> for years uh, a quick little background on it. so for years i've been taking supplements whether it be uh for for fitness or protein shakes vitamins multivitamins um any of those supplements that most people take. So I decided when pre during the uh, pandemic last year, uh, my business, uh, as a matter of fact, my other businesses were shut down. So I started looking, what do I really like and enjoy that I could put into my portfolio? And I went after supplements. And that's kind of how Healthy Choice Labs came uh, together by me being so passionate and including my friends about taking care of their bodies, pre-workout, post-workout, protein shakes, um, glutamine powder for, for the bones after you work out. And now we even have neuro, neuro pills to keep you alert and focused. 
So it, it's, you know, uh, supplements, of course, we talk about those a lot here on Late Night Health. Mm-hmm. And one of the things <clears throat> that I was thinking about is that I think more and more people are stay, taking a look at supplements. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dr. Fauci, uh, uh, Fauci uh, said, take vitamin D right, for example, oh, oh, right yeah. now. Yeah, because they found that people who have severe cases of COVID nineteen mm-hmm. have a uh, uh, don't have even the the base level of vitamin D. So I take it every day. Yeah, I mean now that you know it's um, people don't people forget that we need to be outside a little bit, even even a little bit. But then during this uh, pandemic, uh, they tell you stay at home doesn't mean stay in your room or in your bed. You need to go and get outside and get some of that, that you know, natural, natural source of vitamin to your body, right. whether it be sun, water, walk, and uh, things like that. So that's how I got into this business. And um, uh, now we have all pretty much all the supplements that you need from. Go ahead. Well, we've got, we we have uh, we have your website up here okay. uh, for both the clothing company and uh, uh, Healthy Choice Labs. What do you say to people, especially doctors sure. and doctor? You know who I'm talking to right <laughs> now. Um, that say you don't need supplements. You eat right. It's fine. You know, people have been telling you that, I mean, people, we know that if we eat right, but some people need a little extra push, you know, if you want to, you know, right now, for example, we have a great um, uh, diet detox package. You know, if you want to, if you want to take it, what we call oxy burn. So to burn a little bit as as you're working throughout the day, um, it's kind of burning a little bit more fat, more calories out of of your body. We have that. Um, if you need, if you need help with sleep, there's tons of sleep aids out there. Uh, um, when your brain like mine doesn't stop, sometimes you need a little bit of help. And, uh, you know, that, that's all it is. It's, it's not saying switch over to more supplements, but it's, it's, it, it's an, it's an addition to. Right. And that's what a supplement is all about. Yeah. Yeah, and I think all. it's very important. Uh, the, your, one of the things that I like about your products, they're made here in the United States, not overseas. No, everything is made here and uh, in the United States. And so, you followed, uh, 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 good manufacturing practices and everything is FDA. That. Yeah. Our factory is a- FDA approved. We've got all the bells and whistles. We got a five-star rating on, on what we do. And the, and the most important, I go again, going back because everything I've done, even though I'm not from this country, I like to do everything in this country because this United States has given me an awesome life that most would just, you know, dream of. And me coming from Chile, um, and and very very humble beginnings to where I'm, it's it's a world difference. So everything I do, I try to make, including my my clothing. We do everything. Uh, my tailor shop is right down about about 50 feet that way got it yeah so. got it so do you have anything in a size 40 short uh, always <laughs> uh, yeah uh, uh regarding regarding uh, uh the supplements and the manufacturing oh. of those you do you uh they're double inspected triple inspected all of that following yeah. the fda guidelines and we, natural we, products association guidelines yep Everything, everything has been third party certified. The factory has been third party um, certified. USDA organic, um, FDA uh, registered facilities, uh, GMP certified. So we have all these certifications to follow all the the, the guidelines. What is your favorite product that you have in in your supplement line? Um, my favorite right now is my probiotic. It kind of cleans you out. It's, it, it just it just helps with the cleansing. I'm getting older, um, so never. It's, <laughs> it's it's harder as you, as we all know. As we get older, it's harder to keep weight off. Um, and so right now, the probiotic I think is one of my my favorites. I have a really great sleep aid that I take. Uh, uh, my 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 um, my uh, what do you call it the uh, 
the package says take two tablets. Right. I did that. No, take one. One's good enough. It's a really great sleep aid. Um, and what is that again? It's just a sleep aid to help you sleep. Oh, a sleep aid. Night. Yeah, and it's a pure, again, organic, uh, no drugs. It's all natural. And so that uh, you, if you take it, it helps you go to sleep naturally. Naturally. And then and you don't wake up groggy like you're taking a sleeping pill. Exactly. Yeah, right. so it's not a drug. It's not a drug. It's all natural. And um, any other special products? I know that you have stuff for pre-workout and post-workout. Yep, we have the pre-workout, the post-workout. We have protein shakes to supplement um, during during the day uh, because they do say if you if I, I've traveled a lot and when I travel to Asia you know nothing but the Asians are really really thin yeah. <laughs> they're really skinny right and I, I talk to so many of them they say they eat all day long but they eat a little bit all day long so we have supplements shakes to do that here and uh, you know for example you have a good size lunch or uh, or average size lunch, and not, not overdo it. You know, two, three hours later, if you feel that your energy is going down, you take a supplement, kind of helps you balance out a little bit, and then you're ready for dinner two, three hours later. Rather than a candy bar at three o'clock. Exactly, exactly. So it's a healthy uh, uh, way to stay healthy. Well, uh, a couple of things we've got uh, between us uh, throughout our, our time together. Uh, Art doesn't even know this. We have a copy of his book between oh. us right now. Uh, the cover, Tailor Made Success for Entrepreneurs. Yes. Uh, we also have his website if you're looking for some clothing and if you're looking for supplementation because these are high quality organic uh, supplements that are just absolutely dynamite. Uh, Art, I appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. Um, I got to ask you to do two things for me. Tell me. The first one is just give us a smile. <laughs> okay, good. All right. He laughs okay. good. Um, and uh, will you come back sometime? Of course. Anytime okay. you ask me, I'm here. All right. You got it. Uh, Art Luen is our guest. Uh, uh, today here on this special edition of Late Night Health. I'm Mark Allen. Join us at LateNightHealth.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.